Hey, in this video, I am going to tell you everything you need to know to film and photograph frozen soap bubbles. Now that winter is approaching, I would like to show you one of my favorite macro photo and video ideas. When the temperatures drop below minus 8 degrees Celsius, it is time to experiment with soap bubbles. I have done this every winter the last couple of years and it's still very fascinating. There is no expensive equipment or setup needed, you just need dish soap, glycerin and water. The mixing ratio is very important as this affects the structure which will appear on the soap bubble. A good start is to use 100 milliliters of water, 10 milliliters of dish soap and 10 milliliters of glycerin. If the bubble don't want to freeze, you can add snow or ice cubes to the mixture to cool it down. When the bubble starts to freeze, you see small crystal stars start to form immediately as they swirl and dance around. This is caused by a thin layer of water between two layers of soapy water. It is the middle layer that freezes, so it turns to ice inside the soapy layers. The biggest problem in frozen soap bubble photography is wind, so make sure to keep this in mind when you look for a place for your photography project. To illuminate the bubble, a simple torch will work great. This is where is it getting interesting. Use the sunlight, color foil or a flash to achieve different effects. This kind of macro experiment will never get boring when the temperature or mixture changes, other crystals will start to grow on the bubble. To capture the structures on the crystals, a macro lens is needed. For most shots, an ordinary one-to-one -one macro lens is enough. As I was so fascinated by the process of freezing, I had to switch to a 5 times magnification lens. This allowed me to also see dendrites which look like tiny Christmas trees. As focusing becomes more and more difficult, the closer you get, I have a few good tips for you. Make your bubbles on a bottle cap. This will make it very easy to reproduce the position of the bubble. Focus manually on the bubble after it is completely frozen. Now you just have to try to make bubbles of the same size and each shot will be perfectly in focus. This is very important at cold temperatures as the bubble freezes within seconds or when you shoot at high magnifications as the depth of field is extremely shallow. I can only recommend to spend the nights outside if you have the chance to try this. Here in Germany, the winters became pretty warm so there are just a few days per year where I can shoot new macro footage of frozen soap bubbles. I hope that you share my passion about this topic and that you will give frozen soap bubble photography a try. If you own a high magnification lens, I also have a few very cool photography ideas with crystals for you which will work no matter how cold it is outside. Thanks for watching, have a good day and hopefully see you in my next video.